everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Vanessa and I make lots of bookish and writing related content. So if that's something you're into, stick around and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a book review. And the book I'm reviewing today is Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen McManus. This is the second book that I've read by Karen McManus. And again, I loved this one. So this is a YA mystery thriller. And part of the reason that I picked up this one, um, other than the fact that it's Karen McManus and she wrote One of Us is Lying, which I read last year and I absolutely loved. But part of the reason I picked this one up is because of the title, Two Can Keep a Secret. And then down here it says, If One is Dead. And that just totally made me think of Pretty Little Liars. And when I read the title, I started singing in my head the Pretty Little Liars um theme song and while I was reading this there was one part in this book um that did also give me a Pretty Little Liars vibe um which I'll get to in a minute but um I'll start off with the synopsis of this book so in this book our main characters uh Ellery and her twin brother Ezra move to a small town to live with their grandmother while their mother is getting help and rehab. And so their grandmother lives in this small town that kind of has a history of missing girls. So the first girl that went missing from this town is actually Ellery's aunt. She went missing 20 years ago and that's not a spoiler. It's in the synopsis of the book. So her aunt went missing when she was 17. And then five years ago, another girl went missing from this town. Um, but they found her body. She ended up, she turned up dead. And so this town has a history of, you know, having missing girls. And so pretty soon after Ellery and Ezra arrive in town, um, you know, they start going to their new school and pretty soon after, um, there's a threat that comes up threatening the girls on the homecoming court. Someone leaves a message kind of making it seem like they're the killer and they're going to be back to get another girl during homecoming. Um, so the mes the message has that this town kind of freaked out. And of course, Ellery uh, begins to investigate what's going on with this town and the mystery behind these girls and, you know, trying to figure out who could be behind all this. So that's kind of the synopsis. So I gave this five out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. Karen McManus is turning out to be one of my favorite authors now. I love her YA mystery thrillers. I cannot wait to read One of Us is Next, which is the sequel to One of Us is Lying. I do have that one. Can't wait to get to it soon. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one. She has a way of like really keeping you guessing and keeping you on your toes and making you think oh, maybe it's this character, or maybe it's this one, and, like, you're nowhere close to me, and, right, like, I was so completely off on who I thought it was. And so, yeah, she does a really good job at, like, throwing these curveballs and these twists, and you're like, wait, what? What is going on? So... I really like that. I love her plots. I love the twists and turns that um, keep coming up. And I love the end, the very last line of this book. Just when you thought it was all over and it was all done, the last line of this book 
packs a punch and you're just like, uh, okay. So I really enjoyed it. I will say one thing that is a downside for me are the characters. I know some people really like the characters in, in this book. For me, the characters are okay, um, but they're not really what draws me into the book. Um, the mystery and the suspense and the twists and turns, that's what really keeps me engaged and keeps me going with her books. Um, her characters, not so much. I mean, you can really interchange these characters with anyone. And I would still be interested in it because I'm interested in the plot and the twists and turns and the reveals that we get. That being said, her characters are kind of the only downside where I'm like, they're okay, but nothing special, nothing that stands out. So if you're more of a character-driven person, I don't know. I mean, maybe you'll like the characters. Like I said, some people... Do you like her characters? Um, but to me, they just don't really stand out. But for me, I go into her books not for the characters anyway, but like I said, for the plot and the twist and the reveals. So with that, I still loved it. It's still a really fun time. It will keep you guessing and Honestly, now, when I think about it and I look back on this, I'm like, I probably should have seen that ending coming, maybe. Um, because I read another book last year that had a similar twist and ending. I'm not going to tell you what that book is, because if you've read it, then you might be able to figure out the twist in this one. But yeah, I read another book last year that had a similar twist to the one in this one. And so now looking back, I'm kind of like, probably should have seen that. I don't know why I didn't. But like I said, she does a good job at making you think that it's all these other characters and not who it actually is. So... That's pretty much it. Like I said, I love this one. So if you want a mystery thriller filled with suspense, uh, keeps you guessing, this is definitely one to pick up. If you've read Two Can Keep a Secret, let me know your thoughts down in the description below. And also let me know in the description below what is one of your favorite mystery thriller books? So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys soon with the next one. Bye!